Hi, it's Dr. Priscilla. I wanted to make a short video about uh, vaccinations and how that relates to shoulder and shoulder pain. Uh, the vaccines are coming out for COVID and certainly people are getting vaccinated for COVID. And the point of a vaccine is to really show your body uh, the bad stuff that it might see and tell your body next time you see this, attack it. So a vaccination really is designed to provoke or promote an immune response or inflammation. So it's typical that after you get a vaccination for flu or COVID that your shoulder is going to hurt. The vaccine is put into the deltoid muscle and it's designed to create an immune reaction and you're going to get pain for a day or so, sometimes a couple of days. Now, in a small percentage of people, very small, much less than 1%, uh, the vaccine can promote or cause a longer term inflammation reaction, kind of like a tendonitis type of picture. So in a very small percentage of patients who get um, vaccines, they'll develop some shoulder pain that doesn't just go away after a couple of days. And I generally group those people into just shoulder tendonitis. So rarely vaccines can cause some longer uh, lasting tendonitis. It's very treatable. It is not a reason not to get your vaccine, but it's something that as a shoulder surgeon I'm aware of and I thought might be useful to let you know that that's a possibility. So just to recap, vaccines are very effective. Uh, they're designed to promote an immune reaction or inflammation and so you're going to get some shoulder pain after you get one. Typically that goes away after a day or so. Sometimes it can last several days to a week and very rarely it can cause a longer term inflammation problem similar to tendonitis. So if you get a vaccination and you're noticing, you know, my shoulder really still hurts, it hasn't improved and it's still bothering me weeks and weeks after you get it, then that might be something to tell your physician about or come in and be seen because we can treat that problem. And uh, finally, I would just leave you with, it's really not a reason not to get a vaccine. It's a rare reaction and it is a treatable problem and it really uh, doesn't cause any long-term uh, problem or damage. It's just something that we occasionally see. Thanks.